two types of women that you should avoid like the plague. Okay, so obviously this is not going to be for my MGTOW listeners. This is going to be for just red pill guys and guys who, you know, are maybe still thinking about doing some dating. <laughs> um, you know, there's times when... Um, I feel like, oh, all women are the same, or da, da 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 It's not necessarily the case. Women vary, but there's two things that are really important that you avoid, okay, in all women, whether or not she's this way or that way, whether or not she's a Democrat, Republican, et cetera, right? There's just two things that I think are very important to make sure you avoid. And they're actually things that are pretty easy to spot. So I'm gonna talk about those things now. The first thing is entitlement. Entitled women. First off. The other thing is hypergamous women. Okay, gold diggers. Women who are chasing the best value man they can, right? I think these things are easy to spot. Okay, I think these characteristics are not that hard to spot. Um, you can you can tell that she's either entitled or a gold digger in most cases. Now, so many women, you know, beneath the surface, you know, have these things, and it's it's very difficult, man. It's like we're as men, we're navigating landmines, man. We are out here, you know, navigating through landmines. There's so much against us. It ain't easy, right? Um, because wh why? Because people put on a nice front when they first meet you. People put on a nice front at the beginning, right? The beginning of a relationship, the first date. Everybody's, you know, acting, right? Everybody's acting a certain way. Oh, I gotta be nice because I like this guy. I want him to like me. Woo, 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 right? Most people. I've been on dates where girls weren't acting. They were just being themselves. It's not all the, it's not, it's not every, every girl and it's not every date, but for the most part, you know, we want people to like us, so we smile and we we act cordial and this, that, and the third. So actually, I would say, if your strategy is to find a quality girl who you can get along with, um, or if your goal is to do that, then your strategy should be to be yourself. Your strategy should be to act who you are, to act you know, as the kind of guy you are. Unfortunately, right, that's, that's rarely enough, right? We always got to be, we always got to be more than what we are, right? We always got to be extra for girls, right? For, for hypergamous girls. Rarely and occasionally you will meet a girl who just likes you for you. It, I'm not saying it doesn't ever happen, but it's rare. That's why there's so much dating material out there for men how to be funny how to carry a conversation how to be more masculine how to get her to be attracted to you i mean they've got it they've got it down to a science right with all the different steps and information and you could, you could write a whole textbook on it pua stuff right what does that mean it means Men are rarely enough <laughs> for women. <laughs> They're rarely enough. Okay. Um, some would argue, probably Pua, Pua guys would argue and say, oh, well, you know what? Um, yeah, you're enough. You just need to learn some tricks. You need to learn some things. So wait, you're saying I got to learn things. You're saying I, I'm enough, but also I got to learn all these tricks. So basically you're saying I'm not enough, <laughs> right? So essentially you, you, you can't really be yourself, right? So, so as you're navigating through the dating um, world, we realize that. 
So it depends on your strategy. If you're really looking for a quality girl, if you're really looking for the one, hopefully you can just be yourself and you'll meet a girl who likes you for who you are and you don't have to be anything. But that's not usually how it is. Usually women are entering into a, I mean, like I said, I'm not saying it doesn't ever happen. I'm not saying some guys can't get lucky, but usually women are entering into a dating scenario or a relationship scenario with the thought that this guy's my hero he's so cool he's funny ha 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 he's this and that like this is what they want this is what the the female fantasy is so in order to fulfill that we got to act a certain way and this is playing into hypergamy right you got to be cool you got to be funny like you got to act a certain way and this is what these girls want and that's also entitlement Right, because um, the more you you have to fit into what she wants you to be, the more you know. Like she she expects a winner. She expects a funny guy. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I mean, gosh, we're navigating through this this dating cycle um, where basically women are, you know jumping from guy to guy riding the car carousel and that's entitlement that in and of itself is entitlement right she, uh she's entitled to the kind of guy she wants whenever she wants that kind of guy you don't want that kind of girl man that's the kind of girl that's going to you know be running through guys like crazy like there's a lot to look out for man but entitlement is this entitlement attitude where like yeah i'm cute i'm sexy you guys like me woo, woo woo and like you just want to stay away from that kind of girl because chances are she's not ready for love chances are she's not ready for a relationship she's gonna go ride the cock carousel for the next five or ten years she's gonna go chase bad boys or chase this guy chase that guy Whatever she likes, whatever she wants, she's going to chase it. And she's not ready for love because she isn't, she's a bitch. She has an entitled attitude, okay? And that's easily spottable. You can tell they're impatient, those kind of girls. Those kind of girls are, um, you know, they expect you to pay for the dates. They expect you to do this, expect you to do that. And you can just sense it, right? Hypergamous girls, now that's a little bit harder because it's not e as easily detectable. Hypergamous girls, you know, because I, because, you know, hypergamy is female nature. Women are hypergamous, period. They, they want, they do not want to date down in most cases. Now you're always going to hear a, you're always going to hear an exception. You're always going to hear a woman say, oh no. I met my guy and he had nothing and da 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 Right? So there's always going to be exceptions, but for the for the most part, for the norm, you know, uh they want a guy who has his shit together. They want a guy who's got money. They want a guy who's got a mortgage paying bills. For the most part. But you know, you can get clued in on hypergamy. You can get clued in if you're on a first date with her and she starts asking you about what you do for work. She starts asking you about your career. If that comes up at all in the first couple weeks that you're talking to her, you can, you can bet your boots that she's hypergamous. She wants, she wants a man who's got his stuff together. She wants a man who's going somewhere, right? And women will say that, like, why can't I have a man? Why shouldn't I have a man who's going somewhere? Why should I expect to be with a bum? It's like, hey, man, like, we're all, you know, hopefully going towards something positive and successful. Like, I think most people in life, you know, besides junkies and depressed people or dropouts or whatever, people who drop out of life, most people want to be successful most people have that drive in them i think it's human nature to a certain extent right but what a woman is really saying when she says why can't i have a guy who's successful why can't we? what she's saying is she wants she wants to do who's successful right now she wants the success she doesn't necessarily want love she wants the success 
she doesn't want to love the guy she wants what he can offer her right and this is how women use men this is how women um basically um leech off of men's accomplishments right oh i'm so proud of him he's he's this and he's that and he makes my life comfortable and this is, this is like yeah but that's not really love <laughs> you know like sure you love him but you also love what he does see there's a difference there. there's a difference between loving a man and there's a difference between loving what a man does and loving what a man is right when you really love a person you love them when they're being shitty you love them when they're failing you love them when they're unsuccessful that's real love period the end and you're going to have these evolution people and science guys come out of the woodwork and basically you know say no love is just a response to mating and this is why people choose the best mates and that's all it is there's no such thing as love i heard people say that so much there's no such thing as love even guys right guys even talk about love is just what women call it. like I, w w just the weirdest shit man like so no one's ever loved you dude <laughs> like no one's <laughs> i mean your parents obviously loved you they they, they cared enough to raise you they cared enough to discipline you when you were getting out of line. They cared enough to, you know, feed you when you were hungry. Okay, that's love. Like, they didn't have to do that. They could have just said, eh, get your ass out and go fend for yourself. Some parents do. Some parents kick their kids out right, right when they hit, right when they're old enough to, you know, go to school. They kick their kids out. It's like crazy. I mean, I, I mean, obviously that's illegal nowadays, but, you know, it's not unheard of. Parents kick their kids out at a young age. Um, so love is not, love is not, uh, you know, I love what he does for me. I love the life he gives me. This is how Western women view love. They view love as something that is, uh, perfect, right? This perfect fa fantasy fairy tale love. He was the prince. He came and swept me off my feet, right? So, um, that is, that is not love, man. That is, uh, that's just a good situation. That's all that is. That's just a woman wanting a good situation. And that's hypergamy, right? And we all want good situations. Like we all, nobody wants to be poor. Nobody wants to be, you know, bored with life and not doing anything. But again, that's just not love. So like, okay, you have a chance to love a guy who genuinely wants to love you, or you can be with this other guy who has, has money and he, and he has a house and he can give you things that this other guy can't give you. So you choose this other guy who's got a house and can give you things that this other guy can't give you, right? I mean, one is love, one is not. <laughs> One is love, one is not, right? And, it, and it's not to say that you should suffer. It's not to say that you might, you know, the guy you fall in love with is just, you know, he has to be a bum or the person you fall in love with is, has to be unsuccessful. But that's a true test of whether you really love somebody. Are you going to stick with them through hard times? And I say this so much. So I, I talk about this all the time. Real love is sticking with somebody through thick and thin, real love is sticking with somebody through challenges through setbacks through hard times period so this is hypergamy this is what i see so much today right i see these two major things i see entitlement and i see hypergamy and the reason why women are entitled the reason why women feel like men owe them things is because men are chasing them because they're sexy this is what women offer they offer sex unfortunately if they had something else to offer such as a quality character such as a quality personality such as really having good love see those are the things that i look for in a woman 
I look for good love. Like, yes, I would like an attractive woman. That's initially, right? That's initially. Yes, we all initially want somebody who's attractive. But in addition to that, what else do you have to offer? See, so many women just stop there. So many women just stop at, oh, I'm hot. That's all I need to do. Don't need to develop myself. Don't need to read any books. Don't need to improve. Don't need to have a good character. I'm hot and that's all that matters, right? This is what so many, this is that entitlement attitude. Because guess what? Unfortunately, men aren't requiring anything more from them. We're not saying, hey, like you're boring. You need to have a better personality. Uh, you know, I'm going to dump you so I can find somebody who has a better personality. <laughs> right. We're just, we're just getting with them, having sex and that's enough. And we're satisfied. And this honestly, actually is kind of, kind of shitty of us, you know, to not require anything else. And actually it's kind of, we're kind of shooting ourselves in the foot because women don't really respect us. They're like, damn, all this guy cares about is sex. All he wants from me is sex. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't want to uh, have a good relationship. Woo, woo, woo. He just wants sex. But the, 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 the thing is, is they're falling into it too. They're playing into it too because, you know, that's all they're offering. That's all they have. And if she's out riding the cock carousel, she's out enjoying dick after dick after dick. She's not developing herself for love. She's not uh, learning how to be a good quality human being. She's not improving herself by reading books, right? All she's doing is, is jumping from dick to dick. So what does she really have to offer? Because you don't have anything to offer besides sex. All you're getting is guys who only want sex. It's like a self-fulfilled prophecy. And if you do get a quality guy... Chances are you're either going to chase them off because you don't have a good character because you never had to develop one. Or he's going to figure out that you're a slut and you've got a long past of dick. And he's because, and because he's a quality guy, he's going to want nothing to do with you. Or, you know, you don't like him because he's too quality. And the guys who you usually chase are the bad boys. Woo, 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 right? The, the high value guys and you probably don't even know what quality is these entitled women they don't even know what a quality man is they don't even know how to spot a quality man does he tell the truth is he honest is he open right they're just looking for the flashy funny guy <laughs> they're just looking for the cool guy with the money right so you see there's problems on both sides what men are choosing, what how men are treating women, in a sense, like, uh, like, are we treating them just as sex objects? Are we only treating them as good for sex? Or are we making them come up to, one, to, to our standards? Do we even have standards, right? See, I argue that men chase women, and women say yes or no. This is what I think is culture. This is what I think is biology to, to a good extent. Men chase the women. The women say yes. But the, woman, the, the, the man, in turn, decides if he wants to stick around. The man, in turn, decides if he wants to continue to be with you. And if, you know, if you're just a slut or if you're, just, you're shady or you're a liar and he can sense that about you. Or you have no character and he can sense that about you then he's probably not going to want to be, be around you. It's hard to love somebody who's, who's not really honest. It's hard to love somebody who's had a long past of a bunch of relationships because what are you really, you know, bringing to the relationship? Just a damaged, a damaged, you know, emotional life? I mean, you're definitely damaged. Like, these girls are running around out here who are sleeping around. I mean, just pay attention to their behavior. Pay attention to how they act, how they talk. Many of them aren't even educated that well. You know, I, I say the more education a girl has, the less likely she is to be a slut. I mean, obviously that's not... I mean, obviously, you know, people can have a lot of sex. But 
sure seems to me like all these little dumb hoes running around out here they don't seem very educated man they don't seem like they're that intelligent that smart you know getting knocked up by by loser men you know and um they got the worst attitudes right so you know what are you bringing into a relationship you just have this entitled attitude because men want you because you have pussy now if a girl is more educated and if she does know what she wants she knows what she's looking for like i know what i'm looking for and i deserve it like you got those kind of girls those kind of girls who are all like oh i'm i know exactly what i'm looking for i'm looking for my perfect man and woo She's got a whole list of standards. She's got, she knows what she wants. She's not just looking for fun, adventures, or a bad boy just to get fucked. She's through that stage. She knows what she wants now. Those are the hypergamous girls because they know what they want. When a girl really starts to know what she wants, quote unquote, that's when she wants the dude who's got her shit together. She wants the dude who's got the money, who can provide for her, who can take care of her while she fulfills her agenda through him right with the uh kids or the nice cool life that she wants right she's not going to do that for herself at at most she's going to go half at most she'll pay maybe half the rent at most she'll have a career while he has a career at most right but, um, you know, that's not, she's gonna, she's not gonna be, she's not gonna be, uh, doing the same thing as a man is gonna do. Like, that's a bunch of bullshit. I rarely see that. I rarely see all these women out here doing what men do. I'm not, it's not to say that women don't work. Women just don't have the same drive as men. Women just don't have the same ambition as men. Right, because it's a different, it's a whole different story. Because everyone knows, and no one knows it better than women, at the end of the day, a woman can always fall back on a man, and the man is supposed to take care of her because that's his duty as a man. Right? That's what society says. Society says, You're a male, you're supposed to take care of a woman. You're a male. You're supposed to take care of a family. You're supposed to be the breadwinner. That's your job as a man, right? That's what society says. So that's just default female nature, hypergamy at the end of the day. Um, so these are the two things. These are the two major things that I see. The two major things that men want to avoid. You want to avoid a woman who's entitled. Entitled women are bitches. Entitled women believe that their pussy doesn't stink. Entitled women believe that they have it all figured out. That they are the ruler, right? And men have to bow down to them. Avoid those bitches like the plague. Hypergamous women have it all planned out. Hypergamous women have the standards. Hypergamous women have a list of characteristics that the, they, they want a man to fulfill. And she's going to get it. She's going to go through a lot of men. She's going to be testing out a lot of men. Can't tell you how many times I've been out and about in the city and seen women on dates, first dates with men. And they have that test. The guy's, he's in test mode. They are testing the man. You know, asking him specific questions. What do you do for work? Just like a job interview. Where you see yourself in five years? What are your goals? What are your plans? Are you ambitious? That ain't love, man. <laughs> that ain't love. You're just trying to find what you want. And you're trying to use the guy to get there. I have a friend who talks about it. He uses this example of a, 
of a cart and a horse. <laughs> the woman's riding in the cart and the man is the horse. And she's using him to get where she wants to go as her pack horse who just packs around her supplies, right? He's just men are utility. He's just a means to an end, just a means to an end, right? She wants this cool life. She wants to go to restaurants. She wants to go on vacations. She wants to have kids. She wants to live in a nice house in a nice neighborhood and she's gonna use you to get it. This is what men don't understand. This is what men don't understand. That these women are using men to get what they want. These women are These hypergamous women are out here, you know, using men as utility. He's a means to an end. He's a, uh, he's a pack horse for her. He's getting her where she wants to go. And this, a lot of times from my experience, from what I've seen, usually happens after the girl gets done riding her cock carousel. She may be entitled, she may be not, but once she gets done riding the cock carousel, then she starts to plan out her life. Okay, I've had my fun, chased the bad boys, didn't work out because bad boys are bad boys. That's why you were attracted to them in the first place. They're not going to love you because they're just, they just want pussy. Okay, this is why, this is why, this is why you liked them in the first place because they're players, because they got options. Right? You want that good dick, you want that good sex. But after a while, your emotions start to get frayed. <laughs> you you want someone to love you, you want intimacy. You want to be hugged and kissed and held. And the bad boys ain't doing it because they don't want to do that shit with you because they don't have those same kind of feelings. All they want is the sex. So at some point, she's gonna get tired of being used and she's gonna want to be loved. But once that happens, then what happens? Then in come the standards, right? Well, I want to be loved, but I want to be loved according to my standards. I don't want to love just for love's sake, right? I want to have, I want to have the nice house. He needs to be able to protect me and take care of me financially while I have a baby. I want to go on vacations. I want to do something. I don't want to be poor. Woo, 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 right? Well, there you go. Now, now, now you're fucking it up because instead of just wanting love and seeing where that goes, which is the best thing because money can come or go. A guy can be rich, he can lose it all. A guy can have nothing, he can become rich. Money is transient. Money can come and go. But love is not. So if you choose a man for love, whether he's rich or not, you're doing the right thing. Okay? But if you're choosing a man, you know, oh, well, you know what? This guy's got money. I'm chasing him, right? If that's your, if that's your goal, you got you to gotta look in your heart. If that's your goal, then, you know, that, that can come and go. So as, for, for the guys, I would advise, obviously, to, you know, avoid a woman who shows signs of either of those things, particularly particularly either of those things, entitlement, and women can be entitled into their 40s. Trust me, that attitude does not leave, okay? That entitlement attitude, you would think that after she gets older and matures, that entitlement attitude would, would go away. Maybe it calms down a little bit, but it's still there. I've seen it, okay? And avoid a hypergamous woman. Avoid a woman who's trying to ask you questions about your future and your goals and your money because she just wants that relationship for herself. She just wants to fulfill that hypergamy. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Been another J. Lee podcast. Peace.